I'm Christina Reni, I'm project manager at Food for Soul, a non-profit organization founded by Chef Massimo Bottura that started last year. So the Felix Project is a food waste charity that was set up last year by Justin Byam Shaw to tackle the twin problems of the food waste and food poverty. A project we did in 2015 that it was called Refectorio Ambrosiano in Milan. So after that experience, that was our first refectorio that decided to found uh, an organization that could do these different projects with other communities in order to empower them and to help them fight food waste through social inclusion. I'm chairman of St Cuthbert's Centre, which is just behind you here. Uh, we're a drop-in centre and we provide care for the disabled, for the elderly, uh, for people with mental health problems and we endeavour to get them back into the community as soon as possible and our strap line is we care for the community and that's what we endeavour to do. It's a charity that is working here for 25 years. They do some counselling, they offer showers, laundry and they have different activities that are about the community. So this is what also chose them because it's about the community and how the community cares about other people. Every day our vans go to supermarkets to pick up surplus food that's fresh and would have got thrown away otherwise and take it to charities that feed people who can't afford to eat. We never know quite what we're going to get but it could be crates of pastries and pan of from Paul or it could be blueberries and quinoa from Whole Foods and Sainsbury's. 1.3 billion tons of food uh, is wasted every year, 33% of the production. So the answer of Feed the Planet is very simple. It's not to produce more, but it is to fight the waste. Well, Massimo approached the studio and when we looked at the Food for Soul project, it was just incredibly appealing because it's such a clear concept. The idea of bringing together supermarket surplus, good food, a warm and comfortable place for the homeless and good design is incredibly smart and one that we were definitely keen to be involved with. I told them, look, whatever it is that I can do, I want to be part of it because I think um, it's an incredible thing to do and, and, and people shouldn't starve, people shouldn't you know, feel hunger these days. We've recently had a splendid refurbishment as a result of our partnership with Food for Soul. First and foremost, we wanted to make a place where people would feel comfortable and cared for. It was very old and uh, whilst we coped, uh, it is a much nicer and more enchanting, I think is the word centre now. It's just, this place is just such a lovely energy. It's really safe, it's really secure. Um, it's got a lovely warmth to it. Massimo's brief was simply to make it beautiful. And that's because he sees beauty and the act of sharing a meal as being something that will bring dignity, essentially, to the experience. So for us, it's that this is not a charity project. This is a cultural project. So it's about getting different people and different actors involved in something that so everyone thinks is impossible, but it is possible. watching the chefs cook with our surplus food because it teaches us quite how many different combinations of ways we can cook with this food so one person might make some kind of extraordinary ragu and another person might turn it into a lasagna and someone else might turn it into a sorbet you never know what someone might make with the food that you leave. It's a challenging thing to do but I really enjoy it and I think it's something that we as chefs all need to get better at um, so that we can all support in minimizing food waste. So about how every one of them comes here in the morning, sees what we have in the kitchen, that is all food surplus, and has first the skill to transform that into a, a menu that is always different. Amazing experience. I mean, just the, the spirit of the team, the bonding, uh, people coming together, and being able to talk to everyone that was coming in. Um, you know, it's when you're doing something positive at this level. I think, I think overall, it was it was a beautiful experience, and it all comes together in time, which is great. In the case of London, chefs have a lot of influence on them. You know, it's not only um, English food that we're having, but we're having so many different foods because London is that. It's a mix of cultures and you can see that also with the food. They see that the space 
is really now somewhere that's a home for them. I thought it was one of the most beautiful experiences I've, uh, I've witnessed. Uh, and I do a lot of charity work, but the, the, the first contact with the, with the human being and seeing someone eating a good meal, how important it is for, for our soul. I think uh, this project is beautiful and uh, I, I'm really excited that I was part of it. Thank you.